Om Shanti. Today is Tuesday, the 19th of December 2023. On this Tuesday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bap Dada. Bap Dada Madhuban. Essence. Sweet children, invent new ways to make service grow. Go and serve in every village. In order to do service, you need the enlightenment of knowledge. Let's hear the essence once again on Tuesday morning. Baba says, Sweet children, invent new ways to make service grow. Go and serve in every village. In order to do service, you need the enlightenment of knowledge. Today's question, What is an easy way to continue to remove the old world from your intellect? In answer, Baba says, Repeatedly remember the home. Let it remain in your intellect that you have to settle your accounts with the land of death and go to the land of immortality. Become a beggar in relation to your body. Even this body doesn't belong to you. When you practice this, you will forget the old world. While living in this old world, you have to make your stage very firm. Make effort to have a constant and stable stage. Today's song is Mother, O oh Mother, you are the bestower of fortune for all. Om Shanti. There is a lot of praise of Jagadamba in Bharat. Baba says no one except the people of Bharat knows Jagadamba. They have heard the name of someone called Eve or Bibi. It is now in the intellects of you children that creation cannot be created without Bibi or the Master. Jagadamba definitely has to appear. She definitely did exist, for this is why she is remembered. So what is Baba saying? Jagadamba definitely has to appear. She definitely did exist, for this is why she is remembered. There is a lot of praise of Bharat. They speak of heaven and they also know that Bharat is ancient. This is why there surely has to be heaven. No one Apart from you godly children can understand this. Only those who understood this in the previous cycle will continue to come. The exhibition is taking place. You understand that you also did this in the previous cycle. The words are very good for explaining to everyone. Let's hear what Baba says. Baba says, no one apart from you godly children can understand this. Understand what? They speak of heaven and they also know that Bharat is ancient. Only those who understood this in the previous cycle will continue to come. The exhibition is taking place. You understand that you also did this in the previous cycle. The words are very good for explaining to everyone. What are these words? Pure souls receive a halo of light through their purity. Secondly, a charitable soul is one who makes donations and performs charity. In English, such a soul is called a philanthropist. Those who are pure are said to be viceless. There are different words. There are a lot of donations made and charity done in Bharat. But donations are generally made to gurus. They may be called pure souls, but they cannot be called charitable souls. They don't make donations or perform charity. They accept donations and charity. In order for your intellect's yoke to break away from all of them and be connected to the father, the father has to explain, that is not good. I come to uplift all of them. You are the Ganges of knowledge who have emerged from the ocean of knowledge. What are we? We are the Ganges of knowledge who have emerged from the ocean of knowledge. Baba says, in fact, Ganges is not the right word. But the memorial has continued and this is why the comparison has been made. So what has Baba tried to explain to us? There are a lot of donations made and charity done in Bharat. But these donations are generally made to Gurus. Gurus may be called pure souls but they cannot be called charitable souls. They don't make donations or perform charity. They accept donations and charity. Thereafter Baba has continued to explain the word Ganges to us, Baba says, in fact, Ganges is not the right word, 
but the memorial has continued and this is why the comparison has been made the comparison of we being the ganges of knowledge who have emerged from the ocean of knowledge that is the father the father comes and makes the old things of the world new the father comes and makes the old things of the old world new heaven is something new only the father knows the news of the new things the world doesn't know it there are the versions of god but because sri krishna's name was inserted in the gita the intellect's yog of everyone has broken away this is why they have said that god is omnipresent the intellect's yog of many is with sri krishna wherever there is regard for the gita it is as though they also have regard for sri krishna in fact they have given the credit of the father's praise to the child this too is fixed in the drama the father comes and explains this baba has repeatedly explained to you why you should ask the people who come what their occupation is and what their relationship is with him that is krishna so what has baba explained baba has repeatedly explained to you why you should ask the people who come what their occupation is and what their relationship is with him that is krishna baba has had a very good questionnaire made very good service can take place very good service can take place in the jagadamba temple baba says go and explain to the people there this is jagadamba the mother who creates the world so baba tells us to go and explain that this is jagadamba the mother who creates the world which world does she create she would surely create a new creation acha who is the father of this mother who gave her birth people don't even understand the meaning of mouth born creation you know that the supreme father the supreme soul has given birth to her you children have to explain that jagadamba is a mouth born creation but how is she that the supreme father the supreme soul is incorporeal and he explains through the body of brahma it is as though the supreme father the supreme soul has come and adopted brahma and that he has adopted the daughter in the same way these things don't stay permanently in everyone's intellect they repeatedly forget what is baba telling us it is as though the supreme father the supreme soul has come and adopted brahma and that he has adopted the daughter in the same way these things don't stay permanently in everyone's intellect you repeatedly forget you children can do a lot of service baba says you should give the introduction in the jagadamba temple so that their intellects yog can be connected to the father jagadamba has yog with him and so we too should have yog with him jagadamba is sitting down below doing tapasya and her temple is up above down below she is doing the tapasya of raj yoga and then she becomes a princess a master of heaven in the golden age it is now the iron age it is only when she sits in tapasya again that she can become a master of heaven again all of this knowledge should remain in your intellects people are given this true advice you give each one's introduction however this cannot sit in the intellects of you all that quickly it can only sit in your intellects when you engage yourselves in doing service what is baba telling us people are given this true advice you give each one's introduction however this cannot sit in the intellects of you all that quickly baba says it can only sit in your intellects when you engage yourselves in doing service very good pictures have been created you can also go to the lakshmi and narayan temples and explain there baba says go and relate this to my devotees you will definitely find devotees in the temples explain this picture of lakshmi and narayan to them with love everyone would say that they were the masters of heaven acha what is it now it would surely be said to be the iron age now in the iron age there is nothing but sorrow and so how did they receive the sovereignty you know this and so you can tell everyone when you explain to one 
a whole gathering will gather there everyone will then ask you to go to them very big melas take place in the temples you can also go to the rama temple and tell them his occupation you should explain to them tactfully gradually what is baba telling us you can also go to the rama temple and tell them his occupation you should explain to them tactfully gradually some children also write baba we have explained in this way when you explain to one person others will also then invite you and say it would be good if these lectures continued in my home for 7 days then others would emerge from there too baba says when anyone invites you you should explain in such a way that they don't leave you what is baba telling when anyone invites you you should explain in such a way that they don't leave you when you give lectures friends and relatives close by will also gather there growth takes place in this way not so many can come to the centers this is a good method you should make effort in this way hardly anyone knows the art of making effort for this the enlightenment of this knowledge is needed baba has come from so far away to teach us if you don't do service how would you claim a high status baba asks us children in schools are very clever and they have a lot of enthusiasm this too is a study this is a wonderful study the young the mature and old people all study here the poor have an even better chance in fact even sanyasis are poor so what is baba telling us this is a wonderful study where the young the mature and old people all study here the poor have an even better chance and in fact even sanyasis are poor so many wealthy people invite them to go to them sanyasis renounce their homes and become beggars they don't have anything with them you too are now beggars and you then become princess what are we now we are now beggars who will become princess they are also beggars there is a question of purity in this you don't have anything with you you even forget your bodies you renounce everything including your bodies and belong to the one father baba says the more you remember the one father the more you will be able to imbibe this you have to make effort to imbibe this in a constant and stable way we have to go to baba so why should we have thoughts of this old world until your stage becomes firm you have to stay in this old world and in your old bodies so what is baba telling us you renounce everything including your bodies and belong to the one father the more you remember the one father the more you will be able to imbibe this you have to make effort to imbibe this in a constant and stable way we have to go to baba so why should we have thoughts of this old world but like baba is telling us until your stage becomes firm you have to stay in this old world and in your own bodies and in your old bodies you now have to live at home with your families and remain pure baba says your accounts with this land of death are now being settled and you have to go to the land of immortality when you repeatedly remember the home the old world will continue to be forgotten ask them what did baba say in the gita explain that god is called baba in corporeal baba says constantly remember me alone your sins will be burnt away in the fire of yog the elevated versions of god are renounce this old world and your old bodies become soul conscious and constantly remember baba god is incorporeal that soul takes a body and comes into talki what happens baba says that soul takes a body and comes into talki baba doesn't take birth through a womb he only has the one name shiva there are the souls of brahma vishnu and shankar they have their own subtle bodies that one is the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul and his name is shiva he alone is the ocean of knowledge brahma vishnu and shankar are not called the creators only the one incorporeal one is called the creator
So Baba asks, so how does he create the then corporeal creation? He comes and speaks through Brahma. It cannot be Sri Krishna who does this. They, shows, they show the Vedas and scriptures in the hands of Brahma alone. It is remembered, establishment takes place through Brahma. What is remembered? Establishment takes place through Brahma. He tells us the essence of all the scriptures through Brahma. Means, Shiva Baba tells us the essence of all the scriptures through Brahma. The incorporeal speaks through the corporeal. The incorporeal speaks this through the corporeal. These things have to be imbibed very well. God speaks. I teach Raj Yoga. Establishment is needed before destruction. First of all, there is establishment. Continue to write this very clearly. Establishment of the Sun Dynasty Kingdom through Brahma. When this is written, the significance of it becomes very clear. But only when someone makes this effort and becomes busy in doing service. When you become busy in doing service, you will enjoy yourselves. Mama and Baba also enjoy doing service. You children also have to do service. Mama would not be taken to the temples. There is a great praise of Mama, but you children have to go there. Baba says, go to those in their stage of retirement and ask them questions and then explain to them, have you ever studied the Gita? Who is the God of the Gita? There is only the one incorporeal God. A corporeal God cannot be called a corporeal being cannot be called God. God is only one. You should churn the ocean of knowledge a lot in order to do service. Baba says, if you want to practice this, you have to go and try it out. If we have to practice, then we have to try it out. People go to have a glimpse of Jagdamba every day. People also go to the Triveni of the rivers. If you go there and give lectures and do service, many will gather together. They will continue to give you invitations. Come to us and have these spiritual gatherings. Baba and Mama cannot go everywhere. You children can go. Baba says, You can also do a lot of service in the Kali temple in Bengal. Who is Kali? Give a lecture on this topic. However, courage is needed. Baba knows who can explain this. What service would those who have body consciousness be able to do? They don't give any proof of having done service. If you don't do full service, you defame Baba's name. A yogi has very good power. Baba continues to give you many points for explaining to them. However, even very good Maharathis forget them. There is a lot of service to do. This is called unlimited service. They then also receive a lot of respect. Baba says the main thing is purity. Some break while moving along. No one ever loses faith in his physical father. Here you take birth to Baba. You then repeatedly forget such a father. Because he is without an image. There is no image of such a father. The father says, remember me and become pure and you will come to me. The soul understands that he has played a part for 84 births. Each soul has a part fixed in him. The part is not in the body. There is such a huge part recorded in such a tiny soul. Baba says there should be so much intoxication in your intellects. While fulfilling your responsibility of interaction with your worldly families, you can also do this service. The mother and father will not go anywhere. You children can go anywhere and do service. Only you children are called lucky stars. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found lucky stars of knowledge, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Papdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, renounce body consciousness and do service. Churn the ocean of knowledge and give the proof of doing unlimited service. Second point, 
all the old accounts with this land of death have to be settled. Continue to remove your old body and the old world from your intellect. Today's blessing. May you make your stage constant and stable by having remembrance of the one and thereby claim a right to an elevated status. Blessing once again. Baba says, May you make your stage constant and stable by having remembrance of the one and thereby claim a right to an elevated status. Baba explains, In order to make your stage constant and stable, remain constantly stable in the remembrance of the one. If you remember anyone else instead of the one, then instead of having a constant and stable stage, your stage will become diluted, that is, with the sweetness of many. If any other sweetness attracts you and your final moment comes at that time, you will not be able to claim a high status. So, pay attention at every moment. Make the lesson of one constantly firm, the one father and the one time of the confluence age and stay in a constant and stable stage and you will claim a right to a high status. Finally, today's slogan, Those who take the food of pure thoughts are true Vaishnavs. Let's hear this short but lovely slogan once again. Those who take the food of pure thoughts are true Vaishnavs. Acha Om Shanti.